In this video we show you all of the changes we've made to Mudyard Loon since we've been in the shipyard. Please make sure that you're subscribed if you aren't already so that you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. And check out our Instagram page for daily updates. Okay, so it's about 7.30 in the morning. We're just doing a little maneuver this morning. Uh, we've got tugboats just hooking up right now. We're just releasing lines. We're gonna come back, spin around, and so that our polishers can access the starboard side of the vessel. We've got about five days to go until we get out of here. We've been in Rybovich now for about three weeks, and uh, we're just finishing up the yard period and then getting ready to get down to the Caribbean. So a uh, little bit windy this morning, but should be a nice and easy calm maneuver, so. Uh, yeah, copy that. Uh, that's all lines off. Okay, so we're under tugs now. So we have a bow tug and a stern tug. They're just holding us center. A little bit of a, a boat jigsaw puzzle this morning. So Liberty, that was behind us, have come out. They're now in the travel lift over here. MLR over here, you'll see she's got her bow tug on. She's gonna come in and pull into the slip we are. And then at that point, we're gonna do a 180 and then pull into the slip that Liberty was originally in. A Little bit going on, uh, but you know, the tug guys, they're doing a great job. They'll get it, uh, get it done. Uh, always a little nervous as a captain. Um, I have no control over the vessel at this point. I have a bow thruster, but I don't have main engines to come fore and aft. So we're at the complete control of the tug drivers here. So um, they do a great job, but you know, I prefer to have all the control up here in the bridge where I can, can do it. But uh, you know, it's a little windy. Conditions aren't perfect for this, but uh, you know, so far so good. We've got, uh, we've got a fountainhead behind us here. Nice big 80 meter fed ship. Gorgeous, gorgeous boat. So, uh, you know, tight squeezes in the marina here up in West Palm. Okay, so uh, we're just approaching the dock. We've done our move, MLR is in behind us. Now we're just coming in nice and slowly. We've still got the two tugs, one on the bow, one on the stern. There's about 15, 20 knots of breeze on our port side blowing us onto the dock. So right now it's just come in nice and gently and uh, just gently kiss fenders. So uh, we're getting there. It's always a bit more exciting when we've got tugs and many, many hands uh, doing this. So it's not as easy as when it's just, you know, me driving up here and the crew doing it. But uh, almost there. Okay, so that's us in. Uh, all safely in and tied up. Uh, the boys are just adjusting some lines, putting some more fenders in. As I said, the wind's blowing us on pretty hard, so we're just gonna make sure that everything's nice and secure now. But maneuver went perfect. No problems at all. The guys in the tugs were great. The line handlers were great, and uh, it worked really well. So uh, now, um, today's actually Wednesday. It's the first day of the boat show. So I'm gonna run down to Fort Lauderdale and go through the boat show. Blair's gonna come with me later in the week, and we're gonna do a little boat show episode. But uh, I think for the rest of today, Blair, uh, you're going to do a bit of a walk around, show what we've been up to over the last couple of weeks while here in uh, West Palm Beach in the shipyard. So, yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to the season two of Mediard Loon. <laughs> um, since our last video, we have been in the shipyard for about three, four weeks now. I've been on vacation the entire time. I've just come back yesterday and I'm taking a walk around the boat. And there have been a lot of changes since I've been gone. So I'm very excited to show you everything that's been done. I'll take a walk around and let each crew member explain kind of what's been going on, all the work that's been happening and our plans for the future. But yeah, there's a lot to show you guys. We have four new crew members. We have Eric, Christian, Hemina, and Corey. So I'll introduce them to you guys soon. But before we do that, I want to take a walk around and show you guys everything that's been happening because there has been a lot. Um, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're coming up to the end of our shipyard period. Uh, we've got an insane amount of work done in this time. I'd say a good three months of work squeezed into one month. Everybody's been working really, really hard and we've achieved a lot. Um, more so than anywhere is right here on the bridge. So let's take a look. Here's John. 
<laughs> so straight away you'll see there's a lot of open space here, um, a lot more than before. So before we had all of our instrument panels here, we had these screens um, suspended here. Um, now we've got a nice workable space right under this acrylic. This is all covered up at the moment. Once this uh, covers come off and we get this nice black acrylic, it's very similar to what it was before. It's gonna look really, really good. Um, so bef main part of this job, <laughs> main part of this job would be the cable pulling. There was just so much involved in this. So we've moved all these instrument panels over to the port side. We'll have a look in a moment. Um, we've had all these panels open, a lot of things removed, a lot of things added, new computers installed. And we'll come and look, port side. This is John. Hey, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, he's going to use that. <laughs> yeah, he's going to use that. <laughs> uh, so this is, we moved all of the instrument panels to here. Um, it's a lot more usable for the people on the bridge. Not so much for us, of course, because you know, it's all aesthetic to us. Um, this is really good for them. We've got a nice open space here now. And then across, I'd say the best installation is right here on the bridge console where we've increased from the 19 inch screens to the 26 inch screens. This has meant that we've had new frames built, um, all the new woodwork, all the new metalwork under here, new acrylic tops. Before we had the touch buttons on the glass, not exactly 100%, um, you know, it's, it's not always working. So it's good to get rid of these and get something a little bit more reliable. So yeah, this is a bridge. Sweet, thanks Alex. Do you want to take us outside and show us the mast? Yeah, let's go and have a look. All right, so one of the biggest differences now on Loon, as you'll see from all these other boats, we are the one different one. We don't have domes. We've removed our domes. We've gone 100% Starlink, so no more Visa, no more TVRO. Um, so now we are completely reliant on these two dishes right here. And if we ever have some issue, we need to increase a little bit. We can also use our um, PepWave system, which is four or five G system. So what do you think? Look good? I think it looks pretty decent if you ask me. So, uh, looks like we have spoilers now. <laughs> Extra speed. And then, the boys have been busy here as well. So right here, we have our new captain seats being installed. So this is very similar to what they have on 180. So we're just copycatting a little bit. But it's going to be really nice. Nice yes. view from up here. Yeah, the guests always love these pilot chairs. So this is a great addition. Sweet, thanks Alex. Okay. What, what else? Know. What else do you want to see? Take us on to the engine room next. Oh, if you want. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so one of our other big projects that's going to make a big difference for our guests is the conversion of the main deck pool from seawater to fresh water. It's taken a lot of thinking and we weren't sure if we were going to make it, but pushed on for it. And this is our system for filling and draining the pool. And we're very convenient with the location. So we've managed to get this new pipe here, Cooper and Nickel. And from this, we've gone right into a tank directly below us. This was a deck wash tank, so fresh water tank, very conveniently. So we're now going to be using this to fill and drain the pool back to this. We're going to treat it, refresh it probably once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, and we're also going to be installing a heater and a proper treatment system for this. So it should be, should be really good. Okay, so this is the most quiet the generator room will ever be. We're currently on shore power. And that's meant that we've got a bit of work done on the generators. So they're just currently doing the tappets, the valve clearances. Uh, these units above, these are great for the emissions, so they're actually afterburners. So if we're on slightly lower load, these will then send diesel and ignite, and this will increase over 500 degrees, and this will drop our NOx emissions, our nitrogen gases, nitrogen gases emissions, um, which puts us well within the emission laws. Also in here, one other thing we have done is on the far bulkhead, We've actually increased a lot of our acoustic insulation. So this is the idea that for the guests in the beach club and the massage room, it's gonna make it a bit more quiet for them. Hopefully this is good for that, we'll see. Okay, so one of our biggest jobs in this shipyard is actually working on this gearbox. We've had some slight issues with the one of the shafts trailing, not in a dangerous way, but we wanted to find out what was causing this and rectify it. We have found the problem. There is one of the drives on this gearbox that has worn out a bit and is letting oil pass, reducing the oil pressure, and unfortunately means that has been just slightly rubbing on the clutch. So we've got all new parts coming, there has been some delays, and it's been pushing and pushing. We're just doing everything we can not to let it delay our departure and hopefully have it reinstalled today. Um, then the coupling behind us, we're gonna get this installed tomorrow, and then we're good to go on Saturday. 
Okay, so most of the work that's been done on this boat is things that guests and crew just don't see. So we've been in a great amount of the tanks, black, grey water, fresh water tanks, not in that order, um, to get them all cleaned. And then we'll sterilize our fresh water tanks. We have that water tested, so we'll make sure that's all safe. Um, any repairs that need to be done, all the little uh, paintwork touch-ups, that's what we've been getting on. Uh, general servicing, annual servicing on everything. We've got everything is ready to go for the season. And that's where most of our time has been spent. Um, luckily, we've had a little bit of extra help on this one. We've got some, uh, some engineering, temporary engineers in. Um, we've got some people down there right now painting our engine room. So hopefully it'll look a little bit more white in um, Blair's next videos. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. And uh, hopefully some befores and afters. Enjoy. I did just forget to say that we also bought a brand new chase boat and I'm looking at it right now. But I'm not going to show that to you except for this. That's all you're getting. We are going to make an an entire video just on this chase boat so that's coming up shortly but first we're going to take a walk around how's it guys welcome back um so we've just pr pretty much wrapping up our yard period for the for the season um done got a lot done over the last few weeks but a few long longer days than normal and more like charter days than off charter days but um we got a lot done so i don't know if you can see but underneath here last time you saw it it was basically pink and there was big holes here but me and corey have painted this entire stretch basically all the way around the pool. And there was also a few stretches over here where we had cracks over here. This entire stretch we can't see now, um, but it was covered, but that's because we got a brand new pool cover. So we've done a lot of general maintenance on top of that. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of teak pieces that had to be replaced just from wear and tear throughout the season. Uh, got a new tender to look after that, gave a good clean up, got rid of our domes. So actually, I don't know if Alex spoke to you about this, but we got rid of our domes at the top there because we now use our Starlink, so we don't need our domes. And on board our chase boat, we don't need the domes either because we don't use the onboard TV, which actually looks so much better. So that got a lot of work done in there. Boys spent a lot of time sanding all the teak there because I don't know if you can tell, but this entire strip along the sides, the floor, all teak, which isn't normal on a chase boat, but um, that's what this boat's gone for. And then now the boys are trying to get us out of the shipyard period, doing a full wash down which is great because we haven't washed this boat in about two, three weeks because we've been so busy with just, you know, carrying on, trying to get things done, trying to wrap up all our jobs, like all our paint jobs, our fairing jobs, small little bits and bobs, but now we're starting to wrap it up and it's actually starting to look really good and we're really excited to finally get out of the shipyard period and back to season time. You! You! Good. I'd just like to say, Trist does not normally look like this. This is a shipyard shirt. No, this is my shipyard shirt. These clothes get ruined during shipyard, yeah. so. Painting! Sanding, fading, <laughs> caulking. Yeah. <laughs> All so. sorts of weird and wonderful things going on. But yeah, I don't normally look in this state. Um, I'm quite, we're normally more presentable, but um, yeah, we're not at but the yeah. moment. Nah, it's, a bit, we are, it's a bit hectic. We're getting the work done at the moment. <laughs> getting things done, crafting. <laughs> nice. Getting everything done. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's Frankie Tanky. Oh, look who it is. The big man himself. Oh. Wow. Hello, Mister. Hello, Blairy. What's going on over here? <laughs> just sorting out the caddies for the season. So, you just got back from vacation. Of course, okay. You just got back from vacation at the same time as me, right? Yes. What did you get up to? Um, so, I went to a yoga retreat in Koh Samoy for like eight days. Ooh. Yeah, it was really good. Ended up seeing Shawnee there as well. He was doing his Muay Thai and I was doing my yoga. <laughs> no ways. <laughs> um, and then I went home and I was just with my friends and family. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. very cool. Are you excited for this Caribbean season? Yes. Right. Super stoked we're starting in Antigua. It's the best place in my opinion. I know it. So happy about that. What's your favorite thing to do in Antigua? Mm, probably the ghost tr trail and um, chilling on Pigeon Beach. Okay. Sweet. Are you excited for Antigua Yacht Show then later in the year? Yeah, I'm really keen. Um, Quartz has got some amazing deco ideas for the theme this year. And um, us girls are also really keen just to spend more time in Antigua and explore the island a bit more. That's cool. Yeah, Antigua is a beautiful place. So I'm sure we'll make some good content while we're there. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, mister. I'm going to let you do some work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does it sound yeah. like we're working really hard? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey Cole? guys, 
yeah, good. <laughs> Just uh, working on the crew profiles for nice. uh, the website and for the guest welcome books. <laughs> Lovely, that's cool. Yeah. I want to ask you a couple of questions about shipyard and about everything that's happening. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, you're still not going to ask me about my holiday. I mean, how, how was your holiday? You're never going to ask me about my holiday, you just keeps forgetting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How was it? Holiday was amazing. Um, I flew to Colorado and I joined my boyfriend over there and we did a road trip in his vehicle. He's fully kitted out the vehicle. We went all around the mountains and then we headed over to Utah and we were up in the rocks and oh, it was just absolutely glorious. And then I flew over quickly to the UK. It was my grand's 90th birthday, so I had a bit of family time. And then straight back to the boat and get got back in it. That's awesome. Nice. I'm yeah. glad you had an epic time. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Thanks for finally asking. Yeah. <laughs> had to be on camera, I was waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shipyard's been good. It's been super busy. Um obviously when or at least when I joined the boat, we were kind of running full steam ahead into the car the med the med season. Um and so there wasn't a lot of time to kind of get us all organized and really set into how we like to run the boat. So we've done a lot of that. We've also had a lot of things fixed. So we've had like housing to hold all the plates done. Um, we've had a lot of woodwork touched up. We've had all carpets cleaned. Um, we've had some marble refinished and fixed. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of projects. <laughs> awesome, that's good to hear. Yeah. And are you excited for Caribbean season? Oh, can't wait, can't wait. Um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've been back and this season we're going to the BVI's which I haven't been to before So I'm very excited for that. Yeah, I've always obviously love to go somewhere new. That's the whole point and um, Yeah, I don't know follow the summer follow the sunshine can't, can't go wrong. That's it yeah. So yeah, BVI's are gonna be insane. That's like our most favorite place to go when we don't have charters. Oh really? Yeah so. Cool. You gotta get me on a cart this season. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. Awesome. Everyone is cart surfing this season. Awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And sweet. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Bye. Thanks for the catch up. I'll pretend to yeah. go back again. <laughs> so this is Himina. You came on board as a temp in the med, as far as I know. Yeah. Yes, I did in Italy, in Naples. Yeah. Yes. And you did the charter with us. Yes, I did a charter ten days. Oh, there we go. And obviously I did horrible. Yeah, you did such a bad job that we decided to hire you. Yeah, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Hemi has joined as our second stew. So do you want to tell me how you got here? How long have you been in yachting for? Courtney, you're making me nervous. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> She's supposed to shout at me. I'm supposed to shout at you. <laughs> we don't shout at each other. We have a happy, friendly relationship. <laughs> Sometimes. Waka waka hey hey. How long have you been in yachting for? I've been in yachting for almost six years now. Oh, okay. Yeah, long so you, time. Yeah, so you know what's going on here. I do. I really do. Um, I've been I've, I've taken my time between boats though, so it's not like yeah, I've taken even eight months during COVID. I took eight months. So if you reduce that, I barely I've done maybe like four. <laughs> okay, that's still a decent amount of time. Yeah, yeah. That's good. How did you find Loon? So I actually. Um, I never heard about Loon before, no offense, I know it's amazing. Um, everyone's told me now, everyone's like, oh my god, you're a Loon. <laughs> um, but uh, I actually just saw a post when I was in London because I was joining a boat that went terribly wrong. The boat will not be named. Um, <laughs> that went really wrong, so I had to go to our friend's house in London and then she sent me actually the post about a uh, temp second stew on Loon and she said it's a really good boat and I said all right so I sent my CV and Courtney contacted me and we did a video call and then the next day I was flying over to Naples to meet the boat no way and then yes you know fate yeah things happen quickly yeah, fate and what are you most excited for for this Caribbean season uh, well I, I love the crew so I think working with the crew makes me happy um, don't tell them though yeah no of course and a glove to the head um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I love doing charters, I think. I love fat, fast paced, and obviously, Loon is the best for that. So, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be busy. Busy, busy. Caribbean season's a busy one for us, but it's fun. Really, it's fun. really fun. And we're doing the boat show as well. Yeah. yeah boat show so will be cool in Antigua. We're moving a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. good. What Sweet. else? That's it? I think that that's it for now. Okay. Yeah, got a couple other people to introduce, but thank you so much. I'm sure we'll see more of you. Okay, bye. Bye.
Hey, so this is Corey our new bosun. Corey, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been yachting for? Um, Corey from the Sunshine Coast, Australia. I've been yachting for coming on six years. Uh, I got into yachting because my cousin is a captain. Couldn't tell you what boat, but he's out there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it really. What are you most excited to do in the Caribbean? I think going diving, shooting some lionfish, you know, kiting, just being in the sun, should be nice. Sweet, well, um, thanks Corey. It's all we have time for, for today. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> but yeah, My we'll pleasure. See you, see you around. Awesome. That's all we have for you for this week. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We post every Sunday on YouTube and every single day on our Instagram page. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Loon and how you can book a charter on us. Cheers from the Loon crew. Take 500. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you okay, bro? Bastard, yeah. I'm sorry. Bro, there's an anchor in the way. Don't stand in the anchor. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry that I hurt you. Cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dramatic. Yo guys, so I so, um, got a really good wrap job and the wrap duster and put a nice final wrap and a protective coating over the top and I'm um, looking sexy. How did that happen, Tris? I know we got a bit of a wind engineer behind us. What's the wind engineer? No. <laughs> it's very good. I hide the string. I hide the string for the viewers. If you say I'm Shakira, I will. Shakira, Shakira, no, no. you! Not Shakira. <laughs> I don't want that, okay? Uh. Waka, waka, hey, hey! Slow it. What do my hands do, do I? Oh, you can fold your arms. You can fold your arms.